Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to another of my videos. Today, we are uh, driving this uh, little beauty here, the SU100Y, on uh, Runeberg. We've spawned at the south, ma uh, south base, and we're uh, moving into our favourite little snipey spot. So, I'm just going to fast forward it for a little bit, because it is uh, a little bit of a time till we get there. And here we go. Go back to normal speed. Now this is my favourite position on this map from the south base. I don't like taking the slightly more forward position inside the actual building because I feel this little uh, nook here gives me a little bit extra protection. Ooh! <laughs> Speaking too soon there. But it gives us a nice field of uh, field of view up to the, uh, the higher side. Ooh! Man, that IS just felt that hit. As you can see, I'm actually uh, loading the premium rounds on this tank. I have a 50-50 spread of premium and normal AP. I like the premium rounds because they give me uh, a higher damage at the sacrifice of uh, 25 penetration. Ooh. Yeah, didn't get, didn't, uh, didn't go through on that shot there. But there is another tank up there that I cannot see at the moment. And I don't know where it is. Oh, come on, reload! Oh yes, another solid hit there into the IS. Now I'm going to back off. So that uh, I maximise my cover. And oh no, there's Artie after me. And there's that other, t that other tank that I don't know where it is. But I'll wait here for a second. Take a speculative shot, hoping that the guy was al had already come out again. But no, he hadn't. I think he's actually backed off completely. Just waiting for a bit to make sure I'm completely off the radar. And I'll move back back again forward, cast around a little bit, see if I can see anything. Not really. So I'll just uh, carry on sitting and naming over here, because I know there are tanks over on this side. I'm not going to move from here until I know that that corner is cleared. And the rest of our team is doing a fairly good job of mopping up elsewhere. We are leading by one tank at the moment. And, ooh, here we go. A nice, juicy little target there. Oh, wow. And uh, two-thirds of his health off in one shot. I'm pretty sure that guy's not very happy with me right now. Now, I've been driving this tank a little while now, and I'm having a lot of fun driving it. I kind of feel as if it's kind of like a mini Death Star in a way. Premium rounds doing a lot more damage than the normal. Oh, and there he is again. And there he goes. And at this point, I actually thought that, that side was uh, completely clear because I forgot about that tank that I couldn't see. And I assumed it was him, actually. But no, it was that T32. But uh, he's got some problems of his own now. The IS, the Comet, and the AT-15 all moving up on him. Oh, and I take another bounce from him. But then the AT-15 gets in my way, but you are not stealing my kill today, sunshine. That is mine. I'm going to speed this replay up a little bit again now, because I don't really see much for a minute. I'm going to put it back to normal here. Oh, hello, Mr. Rimjob. <laughs> a premium round for seven hit points. I just... That was a waste of a, sh a good waste of a shell, but it took a gun out of play, so I uh, can't really ask for more. I'm gonna speed up a little bit again now until we just get outside here, and we see the the Isu uh, 152. We're gonna sit here and aim at it, but uh, it gets taken out before our uh, reticle even shrinks in, so that would have been a completely wasted shot. So we move out again, so we know there are two more mediums out here somewhere. We have the Centurion 1 and the Super Pershing. And there's the Centurion. A ah, little bit uh, over-eager there with my shot. I fired before it would even uh, aimed in at all. And that cost me the kill there. So now all, I've got, all that's uh, basically given me is, is a reload. Come on, come on. How the hell did I manage to ding on the side of a Super Persian? Although I do suspect that it actually went slightly high and to the left and hit the spaced armour. 
But no, I am not letting you get away from me this time. And there we go. <laughs> oh, and one of my team tried to kill me. Lovely. Now, that was a great game. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, post-game stats. Now, as advertised, you can see this is my 8 tanker match in this tank. Uh, we also got a uh, tank sniper and uh, a Helenon's medal, which you get for destroying three or more uh, enemy tanks or tank destroyers that are at two tiers higher than you. Uh, you must be doing this whilst driving a TD. And because this little beast is a premium tank, I actually managed to get uh, 116,000 credits, which is a bit of an insane amount. Uh, we also got uh, 3.7 thousand XP for our first match of the day. And uh, as you can see, we were obviously top of uh, XP uh, with a base of uh, 1,256 XP. Uh, now you can see we actually fired 11 shots, 10 of which hit. The only one that missed was my overeager shot at the end. We had 8 penetrations, which resulted in 2.4k uh, uh, damage. Uh, myself, we only took um, four hits, one of which penetrated, and three of which dung us, uh, which resulted in uh, 870 damage blocked by armor. Now, anybody familiar with this tank will know that the uh, armor on this thing is not the best, but it does its job when it's needed. And after all deductions for ammo and repairs, I made a total profit of uh, 70,000 credits. And with that, this has been Chaos Wolf. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If so, please consider rating and subscribing to the channel for more content. And I'll see you around.